from a Substack called Clandestine's Newsletter. All right. Um, they don't always Coming publish. Substack newsletter near you. Thank you, Rachel. But um, I don't always agree with what they write. They are followed, you can see, by friends like Vanessa Bealey and Ohio Barbarian and others. And I agreed with this one. So that this war is meant to be continuous. And this reflects a lot on our friend named Julian Assange. Julian. And they say they, they started that they've quietly observed, and this is their take. Congress wasted no time in capitalizing on the situation. They immediately tried to weaponize the public's emotion or fear to advance their agenda of reinvigorating public support for the war machine. Our ta tax dollars should not be spent on any of these conflicts for any reason. I hear MMTers heads exploding right now about our tax dollars. Our committed U.S. Money, dollars. Money. Our committed U.S. dollars for the MMT crowd. Forget whether they're tax dollars or not. Okay. Sidebar. Our tax dollars should only be spent on the interests of the American people. I agree with. We have a border that needs securing. Sure. We have corruption that needs eradicating. Absolutely. Our society is failing 100%. We have plenty of our own problems. Can't agree more. Yet trillions of our tax dollars have been sent to fund these wars around the globe that have absolutely nothing to do with us and do not benefit us in any way. Bankers' wars, as one would say. This seems incredibly timely considering that literally last night they gave away $100 billion to the war machine again. We are being mm -hmm. stolen from on the largest scale imaginable. Our labor is used to fund nearly all conflict and war around the globe, while our once great nation continues to deteriorate and our quality of life continues to plummet. We are slaves. Our politicians. Another fucking war. <laughs> I know who that is. Do you know who that is? Yes, you do. Do you know who that is? What's that sound? What's that sound? Mm. We're going to play that game one of these days. Mm -hmm. Our politicians, again, are so eager to fund World War III, but cannot be bothered to fund anything that benefits their actual constituents until. Well, that's not true because their constituents are the corporations. That's who actually funds them. That's who they serve, not us. Until yeah. this mindset changes, the world will continue to fail and full-scale global war will be our fate. It's a short one, like I said, and I think it's fittingly appropriate considering the money that was sent to... Uh, appropriated by Congress, both the Senate and the House, that banned TikTok as well as um, sending $60 billion to fund Ukraine, as well as $24 billion to fund Israel. There was another $15 billion in there somewhere, but they made it an even hundred, I heard. You know, um, yeah. Where's the money, Lebowski? We know where the money is. The money is not coming to us. So that's upsetting. If you have, <laughs> well, we've had plenty of longies, but if you have not already and you are of a means and able to and are getting value here, we do this on a volunteer basis and on a user funded basis. So, whatever you can do to help us, there are some ways to support monthly subscriptions on Patreon, Substack, one time donations on Rumble, Cash App. And then we're going to put up a QR code, which already is up or was up. Uh, and here. There we go. That's for Jesse's computer fund. Probably Mac hooked us up on Friday night on the Jesse stream. And, uh, and we're at 47% right now. We're almost halfway to our $1,000 goal to help Jesse there. Uh, we'll get to Jesse coming to New York City. I know we talked about that last week. So, 